What's up guys? Okay, so I guess this is like part two of the computer building extravaganza, I don't know. Um, so, what I'm doing um, today, or I should say just in this episode, because this is probably going to be spread out across quite a few, uh, quite a few different days, because uh, it's quite a process to uh, design and uh, design a computer and then like what we're doing today, sorry, jump to the point, building a building the case out of cardboard. So I've got the general idea of what I want uh, down, and now it's mainly just a matter of um, getting my 3D cardboard model all set up. So this butte is, uh, is, the, is the case. Um, basically all I have now is the front panel, which is right here, there's the front panel, then right here, this little box area, is the uh, power supply shroud. It's basically just something to hide the uh, power supply. So the power supply is basically going to sit right in this area here. Um, that's what this little little box area is right here, is the power supply shroud. And that's because my case is going to have a window right here and the power supply is just kind of ugly and we want to be able to hide all the cords to keep our build nice and uh nice and pretty so that's that's all we have right now um i figured like this uh this video is basically just going to be my what i'm doing currently to build my <laughs> cardboard box and yeah so i think my next step right now is um we're gonna build the the back plate that the motherboard is going to sit on and it is going to stand kind of vertically like this it's going to be there and um yeah so we're going to get what that stands on and how we're going to do that is we're going to hook it up to this piece of cardboard here and it's just going to like go all the way up to the top up here so it's just going to stretch from here to here and that is going to be separate from the back panel because the back panel needs to be separated uh, by a little bit of space. I'm probably going to cut this forward a little bit, give it a little bit uh, more of a difference between this and the, what, where the back panel is going to be. Because we need an area for the cords to run up and then through to connect to the motherboard from the power supply. So, I know that's a lot of words, and if you don't know a lot about computers, then that probably sounds really confusing. But, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get going. Also, I kind of feel like I should mention this, my room is a mess right now, just kind of, uh, kind of ignore that, don't worry about it.
Okay, guys. So we we finished this. So now, oh, what we got to do is super glue these these panels to here. Yep, and then super glue the bottom there, and then we'll duct tape it up to uh, make sure it's all um uh, yeah secure. And that should be good for right now. And after that, we'll uh, I'm gonna need some more cardboard. I'm almost uh almost all out uh but yeah because i don't think we have enough for, for the back panel because i think that'll be maybe not our next step but our our uh we're getting pretty close to the back panel so um there's that looks like we got this lined up pretty good look at that that's like it's perfect height awesome never without that great um yeah let's uh let's get this all glued up So yeah, this is quite a bit later. Um, uh, my phone kind of died mid-recording. But, yeah, ran out of this uh, black duct tape now. So I had to switch over to the even better duck tape. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is, um, this is what we got so far. Bam. This is, this is the case. Um, so we got... Power supply shroud, the, or is it shroud? Yeah, shroud. I'm right. Okay. Um, and then uh, we got this thing, the uh, the back plate, which is where the motherboard is gonna hang. And we need to cut out a thing right here for an I/O shield. We need we need to uh, add some lines here to hold like our graphics card or any other kind of like a PS. Uh, PSI? I can't- I'm bad at computers, don't worry about it. Um, any kind of slots that go into the motherboard. Um, let's see. So I'm I'm, uh, trying to figure out how we're gonna get these, uh, this front I.O. Sorry about that awkward cut, but my, uh, my, uh, camera ran out of space. So I just, uh, cleared it all out, and, yeah. So, what I was saying, or what I was gonna say, is that I wanna add a, uh, front port front IO like area that way I can have like my power button here and then my uh, what's it called like a US, couple USB uh, ports would be nice to have and <clears throat> let me see one thing I need to add also that we should get done soon is I need to add a so let's see power supply is gonna be here so I'm going to once I actually do the full build I'm gonna have a uh, metal dust filter like magnetized to the bottom here 
But um, for now, I'm just going to kind of like, I don't know, I think I'll just cut out like a square here and then kind of maybe throw on some paper or something and just like, I don't know. It's like, this is just cardboard. This is basically just to get the uh, skeleton of what I need. And <clears throat> since I don't have any more cardboard at the moment, I think what I'm going to do currently is I'm going to start cutting out some uh, holes for the cords. Because if you ever look inside of a computer, then you know that... Um, so the motherboard's going to be here. I should cut out some holes like around here, 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 and probably a couple here. That way we can hide the cores and won't be just like a mess inside the computer because there's going to be a window on this. That way we can get a uh, view and we don't want cores uh, messing that up. So yeah, I also got to figure out what I'm doing with my uh, drive cages because I'm going to definitely want some drive cages, but I'm not sure where to put them. And I haven't actually even thought about how to construct them yet. So that's uh, it's all part of the process. All right, guys. So that's, um, uh, I think that's going to be it for the video. I... I think I got everything done I wanted to get done today. We um, we got the uh, power supply shroud check. We got our back plate for the motherboard. And then I, uh, I drew some lines and I cut out some holes here. This is going to be um, for the cabling because we need some grommets here. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Little holes to... Uh, tuck the wires through. Now on this side I, I uh, kind of draw out where the IO shield is and then these are the brackets that are going to hold the PCIe uh, things like my uh, video card and like I don't know anything else that I need to put on. So that'll go there. So and then of course we added um, this here. This is going to separate the power spot area from what I think I'm going to use for a uh, hard drive bay area. And yeah, so we got that all done. And um, if you can't tell from my voice uh, and my shirt, this is actually the next day. I uh, went to bed and woke up and now we're, uh, we're just wrapping this video up. So um, I'll, I'll start with my glasses on. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Uh, you should have another video like this coming at you, um, I think, Sunday. We'll say, yeah, 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 Sunday. So, um, see you guys there.